On today's episode of Meet the Machines, we're going to explore galaxies of tone with the new Saldano Astro 20. Hey there kids and welcome to a brand new installment of Meet the Machines, the gear series for people who like things that are nice. I'm Uncle Ben, and I like things that are nice. And on today's episode we're checking out something very nice indeed, the brand new Astro 20 from the fine folks over at Saldano. As always, this is not a sponsored video, I don't take any money to pump up anybody's products. Sometimes people send me something to check out, and if I like it, I want to tell you guys about it. And that is certainly the case with this awesome 20 watt amp. It's powered by two 6V6 tubes as well as four 12AX7s and it's just as at home on the stage as it is in the studio. Because I know somebody out there is thinking 20 watts is not enough to play a rock gig with, but I gotta remind you, this is 20 Saldano watts, which is kind of a different metric. It can get loud as fuck, but it also sounds great at low volumes and it even has headphone out and simulated IRs and stuff. We'll talk about that later. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro tune that I wrote there. I recorded all the guitars on that using the Astro 20 and my Jackson Virtuoso right here. Kind of channeling my own inner Van Hagar, you know? Whenever I think Saldano, I think about those classic Van Halen records when he was using the SL-100. So it just kind of makes sense that when I plugged this amp up, I wanted to try to capture some of that magic myself. That Saldano lead tone is legendary for good reason. I'm honestly blown away by how flexible this amp is. The cleans are super clean and sparkly. And then on the overdrive channel, you can go from like good bluesy crunch to searing high gain metal tones. It can do a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna show you after I remind you that this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Ben Eller Guitars. 
Sign up today at any level, you're going to get access to tons of downloadable tabs, backing tracks, bonus lessons, and so much more. So don't delay. Sign up today. Now let's check out the galaxy of tones that are waiting inside the Astro 20. Isn't that just beautiful, amazing clean tones here? Um, I've got this running into the universal audio aux and that kind of chorusing sound you're hearing is one that's built into that unit. I'll take it off here in just a second so you can hear it unprocessed. Now the clean channel here is really simple to operate, which I love. It's just got a volume knob and a tone knob. So that tone knob does all the tone shaping for you. Let me show you guys what it sounds like at noon. Now I'll take it over here to 9 o'clock. All the way down. Back up to like 3 o'clock. And let's max it out. So a really wide sweep of tones there to suit whatever cab and guitar it is that you're using at the time. Now in addition to that, it's also got a three-way bright switch on it to further tailor that high end. Here's how it sounds with it on the first position. Second position, which I think is darker if I recall. And the third position, which is the brightest one. Now let's hear it without that chorusing effect going on. squeaky clean and make Michael McDonald say Hur. Before we talk about the overdrive channels, I want to tell you all about an awesome feature that the amp has that I am ignorantly not using because I am just a very special kind of former homeschooler. On the back of the amp, there's a balanced out that has cab simulations on it, so built-in IRs. And you can run that without having this attached to a speaker cabinet and not damage the amp or anything. You can run that output with the IRs straight into your interface or into the front of house if you're using this live and don't want to deal with miking up a cab and all that jazz. And the amp has six different selectable IRs built into it that you can scroll through right here and assign to which channel you want. So you might have a particular 412 sound you like for your lead tone and a different IR sound that you like for your cleans and you can store them all on here so that way when you change channels you're also changing caps too. It's pretty freaking amazing. And there's also an editing software that you can download for free onto your computer that lets you fine tune those cabs and choose which ones you want and download other ones onto there and stuff. Really, really, really cool feature and extremely handy. I use IRs live now for everything that I do and having it built into the amp just saves you from bringing another piece of gear with you to the show. It's pretty awesome. I've been having so much fun just playing the amp straight into my setup. I've not really dug around it that much, but if you want to learn more about the IR setup and the editing software, I recommend checking out my good buddy Ryan Bruce's video about this amp. He just came out with one, I think the same day that I did, and he's got a lot more detail in there about the functionality of that software and how you can apply it to your playing. So be sure to check his out too. Okay, let's get down and dirty here and check out these overdrive channels on the amp. <laughs>
It's that awesome legendary Saldano tone that we're all after. So the overdrive channels share an EQ. So you have bass, middle, treble, and presence that both of those channels share. And again, you can assign which speaker cabinet you want for both of those. So maybe you want your rhythm tone and your lead tone to have different speaker cabs attached to them. You can do that. But another really cool thing here is the assignable galaxies that they have. Basically, both overdrive channels feature three different color-coded, um, what they're calling galaxies, to help you find the tones that you're after. And they get increasingly higher gain as you go. So you have the blue galaxy, which kind of goes from low gain to sort of medium. The purple galaxy, which goes from medium to high. And then the red, which goes from high to ludicrous. <laughs> So that's on the Blue Galaxy with the gain a little bit over 9 o'clock, and as we crank that up, we can get pretty rocking really fast. For the main riff of the song that you heard at the start of the video, I was using the Blue Galaxy with the gain all the way up. Really nice sound and very articulate and responsive to what your mitts are doing. Now when we flip it over here to the Purple Galaxy, it kind of picks up right where that left off. So if I have the gain down here at about 9 o'clock, Here it's pretty similar to where we left off with the gain up on the blue. Let's take it up to half right here. I really like the purple one. That was probably my favorite sound that I found on the amp. I used that for the solos throughout the song. Really nice for lead playing. Again, it's got a little gain, a little bit of compression. It's not crazy compressed, uh, but it's still very articulate and expressive sounding. <laughs> Nice and crunchy, and then let's take the gain all the way up because it's more fun that way. It's more effective, right? <laughs> Check out the EQ while we're here too. The mid frequency does a lot on here as it should with any guitar amp. With it down, it gets real scoopy. Uh, let's turn it up to about halfway here, get a little bit more definition, obviously. And with it all the way up, it's still actually quite usable. It doesn't get super honky or nasally sounding. Ooh. We can further contour that using the bass knob here, which is really flexible. She thick. 
And lastly, we've got the Red Galaxy, which is the galaxy of death, destruction, and mayhem. It starts at lots of gain and goes to lots more gain. It has so much gain on tap that it's kind of insane. It's really fun to play around with. I use the red channel for the big uh, power chord sections in the chorus of the song. <laughs> Anything that needed that huge fill-in-the-mix kind of tone, as well as like at the end of the song there, that chugging riff. So right now I've got the gain a little bit over halfway, and you can hear there's a lot more on tap. Let me just sweep you through the gain range here. I'll start with it all the way down on the red channel. That is a whole lot of gain on tap. Awesome. So you can hear, like any amp, as you start to really load it up with a ton of gain, and especially if you're running that depth switch high and you get the bass high, those, uh, those lows can get pretty intense, right? Pretty chubby. <laughs> I like that personally. I like when an amp has an excessive amount of lows on it that aren't necessarily something I would use in a mix because it means I can boost it and use that to further shape the tone and roll off low end to get exactly the tone that I'm looking for. A lot of high gain amps sound better with a boost pedal in front to tighten up the low end, but it seems like there's kind of a trend with a lot of high gain amps right now that they're making them really lean right out of the box. So they sound really tight and aggressive straight into the amp, which is great. I love that. I love being able to plug straight in. But to me, whenever an amp has that, you know, excessive rumbly low end on it like that, I get excited about that because it's an opportunity for me to find the right boost pedal that I want to use with it to help me sculpt the tone and find my own sound with it. One of my favorite boost pedals is the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. That's a mouthful. I've got that sitting right here in front. Let's hear it without the pedal and then we're going to turn it on so you can hear how much tighter it gets. So that's boosted with the gain a little over halfway. It's like at, I don't know, 1 o'clock, 1.30 right now. There's still so much more to go on the amp. Uh, you don't need a pedal for more gain on this, obviously. I'm just using this to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Really awesome sounding. Now, the cool thing about this is the two overdrive channels are voiced the same. 
it's not like one sounds different than the other. Uh, but the great thing is, is that you can find the galaxy of your choosing that you want for maybe your rhythm tone. And then maybe you want that super high gain red sound here for your leads, right? Well, the cool thing you can do here is like, like right now I'm on channel one, right? So let's say that on this, I liked the sound of that purple galaxy, which is that more mid gain kind of thing that I like. <laughs> So let's say I wanted that to be my rhythm sound. All that I've got to do is hold the channel store button right here. You can see it flashed. That means it saved the IR setting and the galaxy setting I want for that channel. Now I can flip over here to channel two and assign which galaxy I want for that. Maybe for my leads, I want that one to be the red channel and I want some particular IR that I've chosen for that. Well then all I've got to do is to store that and now whenever I flip through the channels of the amp, you can see I go from the clean tone here to channel one, which was my purple, channel two, which is my red. It's really easy to set up and do on the fly. There's no like MIDI programming or anything complicated to do. You can do this in the middle of the show. Hell, you could do it song by song if you want to, just to set up exactly how you want it. And um, both of those overdrive channels have their own volume as well. So you could have the red be your lead tone and also give it a little extra volume boost right there to make up for the sound guy who's passed out after six beers or something. He's not turning up your solos, that's gonna be your job, and you can do that with the two overdrive channels at the amp has. <laughs> So there you go guys, a galaxy of awesomely usable tones out of the Saldano Astro 20. You can use it with headphones, you can use it in your studio straight into your desk, you can use it live and peel the paint off the walls. There's really not a scenario that this amp isn't going to be useful in. And obviously as you heard here, it can go from crystal cleans to searing hot liquid magma. So it doesn't matter what kind of music you're playing, whether it's country or western, this thing's probably got the tones that you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications every time I upload a new slice of fried gold right here on my channel. If you like this video and want to get access to tons of awesome bonus material and a community of cool people such as yourself, sign up today to my Patreon page over at patreon.com slash benellerguitars. Be sure to let me know in the comments section what piece of gear you want to see an episode of Meet the Machines devoted to, and I'll get to that in the near future. Well guys, thanks as always for watching, but now it's time to get away from the computer machine and go do some rope mashing. Let's clickin'. More pickin'.